awesome. I want you to listen to me very closely. Knowing who your father is doesn't change anything. It doesn't change who you are. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. You are still the man I fell in love with. You are still Shane's dad. And Mitch Lawrence's son. You are not your father. Between the time that I left you in Michigan and I saw you again in Texas, I had some pretty bad years. I never knew it was making me do the things that I did. Now, maybe I get it. Maybe I've been like him my entire life. I want to show you something. Stacy gave this to me to give to you. What is it? Your baby. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. This baby has Stacy Marasco for a mother and Mitch Lawrence for a grandfather. But it's still perfect. Children are not their parents. Okay. This is your future. Forget Mitch, forget the past. This is what matters. My sister spent the night with Sky. Who is the slut? It's always the self-righteous ones. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm gonna finish this double Rody's burger, and I'm so telling Rex that his precious little Gigi's not so perfect after all. And then what? He throws his arms around you and promises to love you and the baby forever? Well, maybe not exactly like that. Do I have to do all the thinking for both of us? Ever hear of Kill the Messenger? What, like Rex is gonna blame me for telling him? Yeah, uh huh? Okay, well, how's he gonna find out? You have to be subtle. Subtle? Okay, what's subtle? Well, every situation is unique, but the same method works for all of them. Cogitation, meditation, planning. <laughs> Where did you get that? The Buchanan Enterprises website. Guess who wrote it? Clint Buchanan, the CEO. And husband to Nora Buchanan, DA. Who's so wrapped up in her son and her ex right now that she has no time for the very rich, very lonely man she married. Nora? Everything's fine. Matthew's fine. Uh, at least... I he had his surgery, he came out of it okay, and, and there's a good chance that he can walk again. Oh, that's great. I'm happy. That's great. Clint, is everything all right? Did, did John find Jared? He did. Natalie and Jessica? Uh, Natalie and Jessica are safe, yes, but he's... Nora, Jared is dead. Tay is in Seattle. She got there last night. You're not just telling me this to get me off your back, are you? No. Todd's P.I. told him, and then Todd told me. So all I have to do is get to her, make her let me see my daughter. Well, come on, boss. It shouldn't be that tough. You do have rights. Well, in case it slipped your mind, she's a lawyer. Well, why don't you just pull her heartstrings? You know what? I tell you what. Why don't you tell her that I left you for Todd and Todd and I are living together with that kids? Yeah? You think that'll work? Yes, I think it will. Here, take this. Go find your family. Or Todd, see, get out of here. Who the hell is this? Who the hell are you? I thought I heard my phone. Who are you talking to? Todd? Hey! Anxious much, Todd? Who was that? No one. Why are you calling me? What's that noise in the background? What noise? That sounds like you're in a hospital. Oh, I'm, I'm visiting Matthew Buchanan. He just had surgery. Oh. Uh, wait, uh, you never tell me why you're calling. <sighs> yeah, I know you're not with Ross. He's here in land you're causing trouble. What kind of trouble? Why, do you miss him or something? What do you care? I thought you hated me. I don't think I ever said hate. Well, you didn't have to. You said you think that I'm trying to rip you off. Listen, I, I know you and Ross admitted you were scamming me, and I know I believed you when you said it, but... But what? Well, it just doesn't really make sense, Dan. So just level with me, okay? What's the real reason you didn't tell me you were married to Ross? 